Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a topic that's a daily ritual for millions of people around the world, caffeine. Whether you're sipping a cup of coffee, enjoying a refreshing tea, or grabbing an energy drink, caffeine is a central part of our lives. But what exactly is caffeine? How does it work and what are its benefits and drawbacks? Stick around and I will break it all down in the next four minutes. Let's start with the basics. Caffeine is a powerful central nervous system stimulant that you can find in coffee, tea, chocolate, soft drinks, and energy drinks. It's also in some weight loss drugs, pre-workout supplements, and even certain medications for respiratory issues in premature babies. When you consume caffeine, it quickly ramps up your central nervous system. This can increase your heart rate, blood pressure, and even how often you use the bathroom. But if you are a regular caffeine user, your body can adapt and these effects become less pronounced over time. So why do so many people reach for caffeine? One of the biggest reasons is enhanced alertness. Caffeine is great at reducing mental fatigue and drowsiness, keeping you awake and focused. It improves cognitive functions like memory, reaction time, and concentration, especially during tasks that require a lot of mental effort. Caffeine is also good for athletes. It can boost aerobic and anaerobic performance, helping with endurance, sprint speed, muscle strength, and agility. Whether you're running, cycling, swimming, or playing team sports, a dose of caffeine can give you an extra edge. Now, while caffeine has its perks, it's not without its downsides. In moderation, up to 400 milligrams a day for healthy adults, it's generally safe, but too much caffeine can lead to some short-term side effects like increased heart rate, headaches, nervousness, digestive issues, and disrupted sleep. So it's all about finding that sweet spot where you get the benefits without the jitters. But how does caffeine actually work in your body? The exact mechanisms are still a bit of a mystery, but we do know a few key things. First, caffeine blocks adenosine receptors in your brain. Adenosine is a neurotransmitter that makes you feel tired. So by blocking it, caffeine helps you stay awake and alert. Caffeine also affects neurotransmitters like dopamine and serotonin, which influence mood, motivation, and even pain perception. During exercise, it helps maintain dopamine levels, which might explain why it can enhance sports performance. Plus, caffeine impacts muscle cells directly by influencing calcium transport, boosting muscle contractile force. If you're looking to use caffeine for sports performance, here's a quick tip. Take it about 60 minutes before your workout. The ideal dose is between 200 and 400 milligrams, but remember, everyone's tolerance is different. Start low and see how your body reacts. And as always, if you have any specific health concerns, it's best to consult a healthcare professional. So there you have it, a quick breakdown on what caffeine is, how it works, and its key benefits and drawbacks. Whether you're using it to stay awake, improve focus, or enhance your workout, caffeine can be a powerful tool when you use it correctly. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more content, and ring that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.